All right, everyone. It is February 11th, Friday, a couple days from the Super Bowl. And it is beautiful out here in San Diego, California. It is about 80 degrees. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying this beautiful weather. Went to an estate sale today and I spent $190. Actually went to two. One I spent $180, the other I spent $10. Um, paid up a little bit, but I think I got some pretty good stuff that I'm going to show you here. So we're a couple days from the Super Bowl. Who do you got? Who do you got in the Super Bowl? I think I'm going to be rooting for the Bengals only because of uh, I like Joe Burrow. And I think uh, he's an up-and-comer. I'd like to see uh, see a good game and see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll be rooting for the Bengals. Um, but other than that, let me show you what I got. Stand by. <laughs> All right, like I said, we spent $180 on everything you see here uh so let's go through it so i think the bulk of the value is here in these vintage lead uh toys these horses are marked uh england although i can't really see a maker's mark i'm gonna have to do a little bit more research um but these are all lead soldiers uh, this is kind of like a bob wire fence kind of thing here it's pretty cool got a cannon over here let's see if this is marked anywhere usually the cannons do pretty good got some scottish scottish soldiers this one is marked e-i-d-e -E. Not sure too much about that. It's another lead soldier. Uh, this one is made in somewhere. Not exactly sure. It doesn't look, oh, here we go, England. Made in England. So uh, these are all heavy duty lead soldiers. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think the bulk of the value is here. And uh, everything else came with it. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. This is a vintage Winnie the Pooh. It looks like Sears. And the only reason I picked it up is because it is a vintage. And then this is a vintage Kermit. And this one is, uh, let's see, Henson. 1976 it looks like fisher price muppet doll assembled in mexico so pretty cool got some vintage cabbage patch accessories uh, there's some cups and stuff in here 1984 came with this little bag 1983 so this should have some value. Another little bottle there. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Got this Braves shirt. It is single stitch. Uh, let's see. Is it made in USA? Yep, made in USA, single stitch. But it does have a little stain there. The bottom. But it says A Trench. Home run, 1992, Braves. I thought that, that was pretty cool. I always look for vintage shirts at these sales. Man, this is a little General Lee car, kind of in a watch style. Let's see what it says back here. 1979 Knickerbocker Toy Company. Made in Taiwan. So I'm assuming you press the button, this thing flies off. I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah, a little General Lee car. This is a Malibu Pepperdine metal license plate frame. Thought that was pretty cool. 
perfumes. I always pick up perfumes. This is a uh, Donna Karen Cashmere, Cashmere Mist. So there's that. California Raisins. Check these guys out. Looks like the whole set there. And it comes with this little book that is marked 1988. So yeah, the whole California Raisin set. Pick that up. This is a Time Life CD set, Malt Memory Shot. Time Life, if you don't know, is a good um, CD pickup. These usually do pretty well from Time Life, the sets. And then here's another set. This is uh, Jukebox Hits of the 50s. And that was by Collectibles. A lot of cool songs in there. Doo-wop box. Thought this was pretty cool. It's another CD set. Don't know the value of this one yet, but uh, pretty cool. Then uh, I put these little Disney things in this bag. So we got looks like Cinderella, and it has the original Disney price of six ninety five, and sees says made in Japan there and we got the little cat from Alice in Wonderland made in Japan we got okay well uh, there goes that <laughs> Wow broke Peter Pan that's a fail wah, wah. that was Malaysia be careful with this one this one is uh made in japan and this is i believe alice from alice in wonderland and then we got the prince with the shoe for cinderella yeah i can't believe i broke peter pan and then uh, i'm assuming this person was a school teacher because we got these cool things for the wall here's a little school bus cardboard um, here's some things for sharing this is helping pets this one says sharing food and this one says sharing pretend play I thought those are pretty cool and then uh, this football guy was pretty cool, I thought. It's a kid cut out. And then some Halloween stuff here. Pumpkin. And uh, I didn't even check everything out. It looks like the scarecrow. Some other stuff there. Then we come over here and we got this Barbie box. Uh, this looks like from the 80s, maybe. Let's see if we can get a date on these. Mm. This is 1966, but they always have the dolls, like the bodies, 1966. <clears throat> but what I liked about this, it came with a lot of accessories. Um, it's a lot of stuff in here. A little bag full of Barbie accessories here. So, uh, some of this stuff can be valuable. Um, and then, of course, there's a bunch of dolls. There's this doll here. Some Ken dolls, it looks like. So, yeah, I think there's some value there, definitely. Uh, let's see. Let's move this out of the way without dropping it. Um, picked up Tombstone only because I want to watch it. Some albums. There was a bunch of albums there, but they were all um, like big band kind of stuff. I don't know. This is Percy Faith. I'm not sure. And then this one's a Paul Simon that's still in the shrink wrap. Oh, and then this one I thought was kind of weird. Jose Jimenez in Orbit. I don't know. We'll see. 
Um, and then this game here, I actually looked up and they had a $2 price on it. Air Empire. If you look this up, this goes for about 40 bucks. Um, and it looks like it's all complete. So we'll see. Air Empire by Avalon. And then last were these old casino cups. I got this whole box for a dollar. And uh, there you go with the Golden Nugget. Harold Club. These, uh, back in the day, they used to, the casinos used to drop coins. So you put your coins in the cup and go from machine to machine. Now everything is printed out on a piece of paper. But back in the day, it used to be actual coins or tokens. Slots of Fun, Tropicana. Uh, this looks great. Yeah, Circus Circus. And then you got a bunch of these cups here. Fremont Hotel. I thought there were some Caesars Hotel in here. There we go, Caesars. So, kind of interesting. Just uh, vintage stuff. I don't know. Might lot all those together and see, see what I get. I know I'll get more than a dollar. But anyways, yeah, so uh, pretty cool estate sale. Sales have been pretty brisk. I've uh, been doing pretty well um, and still enjoying myself. So like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Stuff selling out.